Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, love, attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. I am an intuitive reader, a manifesting coach, a Reiki practitioner, and a life path guide and mentor here to help you along your awakening journey so that you can co-create the life of your dreams. And in this video, we're going to talk about Neville Goddard's technique called the revision technique. And this is where, you know, time doesn't exist, right? So in this concept, we are going back in time and we're revising anything that was unfavorable from our past, anything that has shaped us into the person with these limiting beliefs. We're going to go back and we're going to rewrite the story. Okay. So if your parents got divorced when you were five years old, you're going to go back and you're going to play out a scenario that you would have wanted for yourself. Maybe you grew up in a house where two parents were loving each other and they were coming to your events and they were sitting with you at dinner and asking how your day was and they were attending to your emotional needs, your, your physical needs, your spiritual needs. Maybe they were talking to you about spirituality and manifestation. You can go back and revise all of this. And I'm telling you, when you do this, when you sit there and just journal, you're just writing a little story, a short story about what you wish your childhood would have been like, and you're rewiring yourself. I need you to pay attention to how you feel after you do this, because that's what's going to change the game. When you feel into the feeling of what it would be like to be that kid that got all of their needs met. That would shift the whole course of your life. Everything that happened and transpired after that wouldn't exist. You know, you wouldn't be attracting these people who are narcissists. You wouldn't be at these jobs where people are telling you what to do and diminishing you. Or maybe you wouldn't be attracting this boyfriend or girlfriend who's breadcrumbing you because you're not a match to that. You would then attract somebody like those parents that attends to your needs, that communicate, that are on a spiritual journey, and they believe in all of this. So your vibration shifts when you're writing out this letter or this story in your journal. You can type it on your computer, wherever you feel called, but you are rewiring, revising everything that happened in your past. And you're creating a new template, a new story. And when you do that, it changes how you feel about you. You then get to see who you could have been and who you get to be because anything is possible. We can change ourselves in any moment. The past doesn't matter. The, the logical part of our mind is only going to replay the past, but we know as spiritual beings, we are creators. So we're not just going to sit in the middle and exist and let life bring us whatever. We're going to go over here into this bubble of creation, and we're going to ask the universe to bring us our desires. But if we're asking and not receiving, it's probably because we need to revise the past. We need to go back and change those beliefs when they were birthed, right? When did you start to begin that you had to work hard to receive money? Oh, it's because you watched your mom or dad talk about that in the house, or maybe there was money struggles. You're going to go back in time and you're going to write in your journal. We were financially set. My dad, mom taught me all about money and how it's an energy and that when you think positively about it, maybe they had money all over the house. Maybe they had words written about money all over the house. You're revising it and you're making it whatever you want it to be. That then shifts your energy body in the current now, because you're like, wow, that could have been possible. Who would I be if that happened? You become that person now. So this is basically when we're manifesting, you know how I always talk about, um, you want to think of possibility. This is you thinking of possibility of what your personal life could be like if things were different. So we go back and Neville says, we go back and we create a different story, which then creates a different vibration in the now moment, which then creates more possibility for us to create something new. And we won't have those limiting beliefs blocking that thing from coming in because we're not a match to it anymore. If you're now in the now moment, and you're that child who grew up in that house that had that loving care, you're not going to attract a narcissist over here because it's impossible because you're not a match to it. So if you are creating unfavorable things in your life right now, go back to your past, get to the root of where that limiting belief started, get to the root of when you started to attract or be around people that diminished you and change the story. Okay, this takes commitment, it takes dedication, it takes you wanting to this for yourself.
if you want a different life for yourself, you can create it. Okay. We are not just existing. We are creators. Most of the world is in a bubble of negativity or they're in a bubble of existence. We on this channel, we are over here in a bubble of creation. We are creators. We're realizing that whatever we're thinking, feeling, and being and taking action on is what we're asking for more of. We're pushing that easy button and saying, I want more of this. So we have to wake up and realize, wow, if I've been attracting negative things, it's probably because my mind is still programmed to remember the negative thing that happened to me in childhood. So if I go back and change that energetically, now I won't be a match to that. And I'll be able to push a button on the things I really do want, the person I could have become and am now to create this new life for myself. And a lot of us have so much trauma on top of trauma on top of trauma that if we can go back and revise each story one by one, every event that happened to you that you are not happy with, go back and say that it never happened. Your parents stayed together. You were never abused by that person. These things just didn't happen. And then you put in a new storyline. And these are Neville's teachings and I've used it in my life and it is wild how you can push away physical illness because maybe that illness was caused by that trauma. But if you can revise the trauma, the illness dissipates. It just goes away. We are magical beings and we can create anything. We just have to believe it. And if you're on my channel, I know you believe it. So your goal today after watching this video is to write down the things from your past that were not favorable, the things that made you who you are, that you, you wish you weren't that way. And you're going to go back and you're going to write a new story and you're going to see it in your imagination, how you were raised, how you were in that environment, feeling so nurtured and so loved. And now you're seeing how that child bloomed in this beautiful flower who's now spreading everything that they learned from that loving environment to others. And you're sharing it on YouTube, on a podcast, in a book, in your small business, whatever it is. And you're being that different person. Okay. And I'm not negating those things that happen to you. I believe our soul chooses everything. And then I believe we get to a point of awakening and now we have a choice. Do we want to sit in the victimhood or do we want to move out of it and start to be that creator you came here to be to inspire our world? So be that creator, set yourself up to feel good, revise your past, and then watch what happens next. The universe will surprise you in so many magical ways. It's going to be insane. And if you need help, really sinking into that revision and understanding it more, please book a session with me. I love talking about the law of assumption, the law of attraction, signs, everything related to manifesting. I love, and I also love to talk about healing and trauma. I've been through a lot of trauma in my life and revising and changing my perspective around my trauma has shifted my life. And it's allowed me to be in a state of grace and gratitude and appreciation 90% of my days. And you can get there too. Okay, we just have to remove all those cinder blocks of trauma that are weighing us down. So please like, comment, subscribe, connect your energy to mine. Thank you for supporting me and my channel. And if you want to work with me, everything is in the description box below. We can do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I have an eight-week mentorship program. I am here to help you. That's why I'm here. I was born to help all of you. And I was born to be the creator that I came here to be to fulfill my mission. And I want to help you do yours. All right, lovies. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.